Okay, what's up guys? Sasha Arden here from SHPT90. Now, in the, in the lead up to Christmas, I thought it was important to get a little message out there to remind people that Christmas is, you know, it's one or two days. Your Christmas day, you've got Boxing Day, generally where we meet up with friends, we see family, we consume loads of food, alcohol, um, and that's fine and that's great. And I'm all for that. I um, love my food, love to literally plow the calories when it comes to Christmas Day and Boxing Day. But just remember, it is only those two days. And I'll get quite a few messages from clients which I'm really trying to encourage them against and saying, oh, I'll see you in the new year. And it's like, don't succumb to this holiday mindset just yet, okay? My advice is try and push hard all the way up to Christmas Eve if you can, okay? Try and stay with your, your good... Um, nutrition, keep as active as possible, and don't succumb to thinking, you know, a week out, two weeks out, oh, that's it for this year, I can't really achieve anything else, because you can, and you can really limit the damage that you're gonna cause on Christmas Day and on Boxing Day. You know, the average person consumes 7,000 calories on Christmas Day, and that's, you know, for most people, that's two or three days worth of, of food, so, my advice is work as hard as you can all the way up to Christmas Eve, um, be as active as possible, uh, get out for walks, do lots of stuff that you can do with your family that doesn't involve um, overindulging, and then really enjoy Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, go nuts, eat loads of food, take the, um, take the foot off the gas, relax, consume some alcohol, um, have fun, enjoy it and then start to think about getting straight back on it um, the day after Boxing Day. So plan something in that's active, even if that's a walk, uh, maybe an exercise class, we're running some of our strong classes. I'll be, we'll be training clients um, from the 27th onwards. And, and get back into the swing of it. Don't leave it till January, guys, because you can really do a lot of damage over that two or three week period in the lead up to the new year. Okay, so the message is, don't give up just yet. There's lots more you can achieve in the lead up to Christmas. Keep working hard, keep eating well, uh, and then enjoy Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, uh, and then have a plan to get back on it in the lead up to the new year. And uh, make sure that 2018, you've got um, a solid goal and a focus that you wanna work towards, uh, and you've got a way of achieving those goals with your health uh, and fitness. So keep working hard, guys. Enjoy Christmas and uh, keep an eye out for all the content we're gonna be pushing out to try and help you in the lead up to 2018 to be fitter, stronger, and leaner. Okay guys, catch you later, bye bye.